Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm here with your oracle card guidance, your weekly oracle card guidance. And I'm using one of my favorite decks for this uh, type of reading. It is the Madame Endora's Fortune Cards and it comes in this box here. And we have three options. The option number one. The option number two. And the option number three. So you may go ahead, make your selection, and I shall begin with the reading. For those of you who have chosen the option number one here, we are asking, what is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to know at this moment? And what have you come here to hear? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? And if you are a regular viewer, then you know that we ask these questions every week. And um, you can also come here and ask your own question, whatever it is that you need to know. Um, at any time that you need it. So I'm just shuffling these cards off screen because it's quite a tight shot again today and uh, it can be quite unsightly. So I'm just going to do that. So this card kind of flew out of the deck and you're going to have to trust me uh, this time because I haven't shown you how I've shuffled the cards. Um, yeah, but um, the card is the talisman and the caption reads, you are destined to succeed. So what I see in this card here, aside from the fact, the obvious fact that you are given a confirmation of whatever path you've chosen. And if you've been wondering whether um, something's going to be positive, whether it's going to turn out for, for the better, for if you've been wondering if something's going to turn out the way you desired, then the answer is definitely a yes. Um, but aside from that, I feel like the very way that you've crafted by yourself is what is actually going to get you there. So it's not what others tell you necessarily, unless you hold their opinion close to your heart. It's not what the uh, what society would tell you that you need to do. It's not what uh, you expected what is expected of you it is your own path that you choose that is uniquely yours that will lead you to your success and many may frown upon this or or find it strange the path that you've chosen or what you're doing many may not agree with you and many may even try to put you off what you're doing but this card here shows me that that there's no reason to do that there's no reason to listen to um, the what the others are saying to you, what the naysayers are saying. It's, um, it's largely because they don't understand it and they don't understand your capacity and they don't understand your potential. And only you know what your true potential is. Sometimes it's difficult to acknowledge that about oneself and sometimes one wholeheartedly acknowledges that about oneself. But in this card here, I feel that it's your very core it's that very essence that you have. It's what you breathe that's going to realize what it is that you want to realize. And as I said, the path is uniquely yours. So the way in which you go about doing this is what people or what most people would consider to be impossible. Um, but this is what you were meant to be doing. And it's okay to be on this path, even though it may look like a path that is not straightforward. It may look like a path that has failures in it. It may look like a path that's actually riddled with failures. But in fact, you are on the right path. And um, yes, no matter the obstacles, you will reach your goal and your, your destiny and what it is that you actually have set out to do, especially if it's something that you've set out to do quite recently in the last couple of months or so. Um, this card has that feeling of something that's new, something that's um, almost at the beginning of, of, um, of what you're building. And it could have started around um, July or the end of June, something like that, or as recently as a week or two ago. Now, um, for those of you who haven't had in, um, you know, whatever you're doing, riddled with failures, don't take that to heart. This is just for those who have that. It doesn't mean that you will have failures. It doesn't mean that you will necessarily have obstacles. What I am being shown is that you will find a path through everything. So it's like there's this path that looks untenable and uh, or unattainable. And 
here you are, you find a way through it all. It's like water that finds its way through and there's nothing that's going to stop you. And it's almost like you have this magical force that's almost carrying you through. And uh, so this is a really positive card and you're very lucky to have, to have it. And uh, yeah, so that's your message for the week. Whatever you have your heart set on, go for it because this is a confirmation that you are blessed along the way, that you are actually being supported in this process and that it is the right way to go. And um, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to try something because only if you try it can you learn from it um, and go ahead. Only when you go out there and do it can you actually make some progress. If you're going to be thinking about it and not doing it, then it's actually not going to get to you anywhere at all. So this card is very much about taking action as well in order for you to be able to um, to succeed. It, it calls uh, movement into account. It calls movement and alignment with destiny. And so you need to be able to uh, allow yourself to surrender almost to the path and not hold on too tightly to one particular idea, but be open and allow yourself to be led through the process. Okay, so I hope that message has helped you and I wish you all very well as you go along in this week. For those of you who have chosen the second option here, I'm just going to be shuffling the cards off the screen today uh, because I have a really tight shot and uh, yes, you may not actually appreciate these cards right up in front of you in this way. So I'm just going to give these cards a good shuffle and be asking the question, what is it that you've come here to hear today and what is it that you need to take away with you today? Okay, and the card that's come up for you is, here is called the spider and the message here reads, be meticulous and patient. I feel like this card might resonate with quite a few of you. It might have been an energy lately that's come up for you. You might have been drawn to spiders for some reason, or you might be talking about spiders for some reason, or something might have come up for you with regard to spiders in the last week. And if it has, then this message has to do with you specifically. And uh, also if it hasn't, then it's for you because you've chosen the second option. All right. Um, so this card is talking about really taking your time, really being able to have a greater plan in which, which you weave your way through and um, understanding that um, the way you live your life is actually an art. The art form is your life. How you move through your life is your art form. And just being able to, to take your time so that you can finally reap the benefits of what it is that um, that that you desire. So there's also this feeling here that the spider, this creature, or that you, that you in this context, you, uh, that you have the sense, uh, the confidence, the knowing that what you're doing will have a particular result that will be favorable to you. And it's important to go along with this confidence, with this knowing, a deep sense of knowing, and there will be no insecurity with that. It's almost like an absolute sense that this is going to happen. And you're just taking your time and you're enjoying your life as you're going along because you know that eventually what you want will come to you. And you almost have faith and confidence the way in which it comes to you is going to be quite miraculous, quite um, a surprise and quite and more than what you're hoping for it's like you expecting to be luckier than you than you believe you you could be I feel like one of the other messages in this card is asking you to multitask or asking you to use all of your faculties so if you think you're particularly good at one thing um, then don't only do that, don't only take that into account, don't only be meticulous about that, but also take into account all the other ways in which you can bring something that you are doing together. Uh, and this could be just, you know, as simple as getting your groceries done or cleaning your home, or it could be bigger projects as well that you're working on or any path that you've, you're taking to. It's saying here, 
take into account all the skills that you have and put them all to good use because there might be something about yourself that you do not recognize or you haven't yet recognized, but it could be of great help to yourself. So sit down, make a list of all the skills that you have and you know just search thoroughly through you to see if you have all of those written down. And when you've done that, um, then then see how you can apply that to a current um, problem that you have or a current situation that you are trying to work through. And of course, you don't have to go and write that all down. You can just think about it in your head and, and, and do it like that as well. But that's just a suggestion. There is a sense here that what you're doing, what you're doing wholeheartedly with all of your energy in it, with all your capacity, is actually what your link is to uh, the universe or to God or to um, a greater consciousness. It's a sense that that is what grounds you, that whatever you're doing, if you have yourself 100% behind it, if you are 100% confident about what you're doing, then that indeed is your link to that which is greater. So it might be simply that, you know, you do something like crochet, crocheting or, or knitting um, and or sewing or, or just some hand hand work like um, yeah some carpentry or whatever it is that you do, but um, this is called this is helping you to be connected and it's coming through your task it's coming through your you know your gift or, or what you're good at is actually what connects you and it just doesn't only connect you to others. Uh, and to those with a similar vibration, but it connects you also to to what is divine for you by your definition. There does seem to be an emphasis on being meticulous here, and I feel that um, it's not just about being meticulous, it's about being consequent. So if there is a situation that you do not like, than to actually speak up about it and say something about it, but being consequent about it. So there must be repercussions, is what I'm, I'm hearing here, or seeing here in this card. This is a no-nonsense kind of spider, and this card is telling you not to, to absorb any nonsense or anything that goes against what it is that you wanting to achieve uh, as you go along in this week. I feel like this card is also telling you not to be fearful or to be fearless rather, to go ahead and um, be confident and be, be. Well, it's almost like telling me to be outrageous. <laughs> it's almost saying that you have to get out there and just believe in yourself and do what you have to do. And there's no space for fear in this, in this time or for you. And that is the way in which you're going to be able to just make the most of what you have before you right now. This card is also very much a card about um, the life being the journey and not the destination. So it's almost like all the, the wisdom and all the all what it is that you need to achieve will come to you in the process, as opposed to when you have achieved it, as opposed to when you've when you think you've reached your end goal. So really just buckle down and, and enjoy what you're doing right now. This is really, really an important message of this card. If you have a lot of spiders in your home right now, this uh, card is also a confirmation that it's there to to bring you a certain message or to assist you along a certain path. Very often the spider comes into our life when we need to be quite um, good at what we're doing, when we need to be quite efficient with what we're doing. And it helps us to to multitask, to do many things at once in a, in a very effective way. I feel that here, um, if you aren't getting the message that you need from the spider, if you feel that what I'm saying is incomplete, then perhaps you could work with the spider energy. You could work with um, with with a particular spider or you could work with uh, you know a, a rubber spider or toy spider or, or just you know a picture of a spider that you can find on the internet and just sit with it and meditate and see what else comes to you and what else you need to hear as you go along um, at this time. Well I can't seem to get anything else out of this card so I'm going to leave you guys with that for this week and I wish you all very very well as you go along and good luck um, being meticulous and being patient and multitasking and taking care of everything that you need to take care of. Okay, wishing you all well on your way. Many thanks for stopping by.
So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, I'm shuffling the cards um, off the camera today because I have a very, very tight shot. And so we're asking, what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week? What is it that you've come here to hear? And what is it that you need to take with you as you leave this reading? And the card that's come off is called the King. And the caption here reads, Authority and Diplomacy. So I feel the message here is to say that, you know, you already know who you are and you've already proved who you are. And um, there is no doubt about what it is that you contribute or what it is that you do and your skill or your level of skill um, and whatever it is that you contribute. And it's, this card is saying that you don't need to uh, get frustrated or to be angry or to try to prove that anything to anyone else right now. If you um, think that they are not respecting your authority or they are not respecting you in some way, the message here is to say, well, that is not true. Uh, you have proven yourself already and that is, it's not about that. Um, the respect is there. It's simply about you um, tempering the way in which you interact uh, with your subjects, so uh, as it were. So this could be your friends, or it could be your family, or it could be, you know, people that you work with, or other students, or um, it could be uh, it could be anything. There's a sense here that. It's not that those around you do not uh, appreciate or respect your authority or what your point of view is in this matter or what it is that you need to say to them, but it's rather that it is you who, do not, who does not believe that they actually have faith in you and that they actually um, respect you. And so it's like you are projecting or it's like you are you know, this is reflecting back to you. So it's important right now in this time ahead that you respect your own authority and you respect your own contribution and that you value who you are um, and you go deeper with that. You are really able to understand who you are because while it is so that people respect you and understand you and want you for who you are, um, it does not necessarily mean that it will always be shown in the way that you would like it to be shown. It doesn't all, always mean that they will appreciate you in the way in which you want to be appreciated. And so you can um, rel you can speak to them and communicate with them very carefully um, how it is that you would like to proceed without hurting their feelings and without getting too angry with them. This isn't a situation that you should allow yourself to be um, and become bitter about. I also feel here that steps have already been taken to achieve this and um, that you simply need to stay in that space of knowing who you are and that authority that you have within yourself. This is not necessarily talking about authority over others. It's almost about this authority that you have within yourself that needs to resonate so that others can um, can continue to treat you in a way that is uh, full of respect and um, an appreciation. And it's almost like this is something that you're not allowing. I don't see the problem here being outside of you. I feel like the problem is that you are not allowing this to come forth, that you are not allowing this to, to happen. So it's like you need to just allow that. You just need to let go and, and just be, um, just let go of it. It is it is already perfect. It is already good as it is. And it you might not feel that always, um, but that has much more to do uh, with yourself as opposed to how others feel about you. I feel here that you have a certain wisdom, you have a certain knowledge 
there's something about you that understands things better. Like you have a certain degree of empathy, compassion. You have something in you that understands the situation a little bit better than others. And this is a gift to you, but not everyone has that here. And or you might get a bit impatient with others or not understand it or get upset when others don't have that. And um, this card is asking that you uh, understand that people are made differently and that they have different strengths and weaknesses and that you um, engage your compassion when dealing with them so that you're not uh, completely frustrated and you won't alienate them from the process. And I think other than that, you know, you're doing everything as you're supposed to be doing it and it's all fine. I feel here as well that, that this card, this meaning is a very specific meaning and so it might apply to you in a different way than you uh, would expect or it might be that it doesn't exactly resonate in the way in which I'm saying but there might be one or two sentences from this that you can take away and that uh, you can reflect upon so that it, it, it brings you the message that you actually need. There's one more message here and it says that um, there's three ways in which you can govern or you can rule, okay? And I feel like uh, what they mean by govern or rule is the way in which you go about them and manage your relationships and, and deal with others uh, within the context here. And it's almost as if they're saying, well, there's three ways in which you can go about it. You can go about it in a way that's very free and uh, liberating and just very uh, accommodating. Or you could be very, very strict and very stern and unyielding. Or you could be a little bit of both. Be more compassionate, be more, um, take more in, absorb more in, have room for more, um, have space for more. And yes, be, be able to filter what you take in and what you don't take in. But... Uh, yeah, so those are the three ways and it's up to you to decide how to reach that balance and how it is that you can actually bring yourself forth and um, continue. And other than that, I want to just reiterate, everything is, is fine, you know, it seems like everything is okay. It's just a matter of, um, of just understanding who you are and what your powers are, really. And, and, how, and what your power is to hurt others or break others apart as well. As you go forth here, I see no problem or no reason for your authority to be questioned. I, need, I see no reason for you not to be able to uh, further develop your diplomacy. And I feel that your reign will continue. So in whichever capacity that you uh, have this authority, you know, uh, perhaps you are managing a department or perhaps you are in charge of something or perhaps it's just that you're in charge of yourself well this is going to continue to be yours it's not going to be taken away from you um, yes it's going to be yours and you can continue to develop yourself with that and um, you will it will be refined it will come to a point where you really know yourself even further even deeper than what you know about yourself already but this is something that um, it feels to me like this authority that you have has come to you quite quickly or has come to you while, while you've been quite young. And so you are still learning how to work with this authority or how to work with others with this great responsibility that you have here. There's also much wisdom and much knowledge behind you that's supporting you in this process. And so you're not alone in this and it's not just you that you need to refer to for this information. You can ask for help by consulting your library or consulting a, a, a resource center or resources that you have at your avail. And so this is something that um, it's talking about how rich you are in the sense, you know. Um, I can't find anything else to share with you or, or with regard to this card. I hope that the message has helped you and it has resonated and that it will help you as you go along in your week. And perhaps it doesn't make sense right now, but I feel like as you go along the week, it starts to make sense, especially towards the latter part of the week for some of you. All right, so I'm wishing you all very well and good luck with whatever you're up to. And I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe, stay healthy and sending you all much love and 
Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.